Assalamualaikum brothers and sisters. My name is Yusuf Azwain. I'm 17 and I study maths, biology, chemistry, and Arabic at Capital City Academy. And I'm also a British Muslim. I was born in Holland and I came to London when I was seven years old and by the age of eight I learned English. I went to two primary schools, one in Wembley called Chalk Hill and one in Wilson called Glaston Park Primary School. I completed my SATs over there and after that I went to Capital City Academy as my secondary school. I also did my GCSEs and Alhamdulillah I passed. So I decided to stay in Capital City Academy sixth form and I where I currently stand now and I'm studying maths, biology, chemistry and Arabic. To me, family is more than just blood. I have both my parents who were, even before I was born, had sacrificed so much for me to come here to London. I, I feel very blessed that I have them to stand with me, to support me, to be happy with every decision I make. I'm very blessed and happy that I have them. The person that advises me the most is my mom. She always keeps track of my doings, makes sure where my whereabouts, making sure that I'm not going to the wrong path and making sure that I pray and perform all the wajib actions every single day of my life. I also have many other people that make sure I remain on the main path and to me the right path is being kind to others, performing the wajib acts such as Psalm and Salah, maintaining my deen, maintaining my iman, and making sure that I do the best actions. And most of the time, what I do is in every situation, I think, what does the Prophet do? To make sure that I do not do the incorrect decision and that I will later regret it. The person that inspires me the most is the 14 Ma'sumi, especially the Prophet and Imam Ali. This is due because back in their day, not many, not many of the people were Muslims. Not many of the people listened to them. And yet they carried on to obey Allah, to worship Allah, and to preach the word of Allah. They never gave up, they stood their ground. And that inspires me because he living in this uh, non-Muslim country made me realize that I could still remain in my religion. Salam Shabbat. As a young British Muslim, I don't feel discriminated from the others. I sometimes feel equal in some ways and it's different to other ways. For example, um, people in the UK are not really aware of our five times a day prayer and we need the time out from work, from school in order to pr pray to God and remember God throughout the day. But overall, I don't feel equal um, in some ways but some people that are not aware of Muslim because of the media and what they think of it is different to what we portray and as Muslims we need to we are representatives and here in the UK we represent the Muslim community. Most of the Muslims I know go into the medical field after they pass their A-levels and I feel like their ambitions and uh, expectations from their parents is quite high in comparison to other, other communities. 
and I do not feel like being a Muslim holds them back because in fact in, it helps them to carry on and motivates them as they are away from the alcohol, as they are away from partying and they do not have many uh, factors that distract them from studying. In all parts of the world there are racism, there, there is discrimination, there is some way that you may feel you're not welcome or fit in a group of people. So here it is usual for us to be discriminated, for us to be looked down upon, for us to be um, treated differently just because we're Muslim. London is a very diverse city and as you all know there are people from many cultures, many religions and many countries which means of course I have non-Muslim friends. To me the non-Muslim friends doesn't mean they're better than my Muslim friends they, I treat them equally as they are my friends and we usually come here to the football pitch or we even have study groups in the library where we hang out and I do not feel like they discriminate against me and I do not discriminate against them in the same way. I don't feel like I'm looked at differently when people find out that I'm a Muslim. They may ask me questions such as, why can't you eat pork? Why can't you drink alcohol? Why do you pray five times a day? And I'm always ready to answer them. When they find out what I believe in is different to what they believe in, they accept who I am and what I believe in and they accept the fact that I can't do some certain actions that they can do. And in the same way that we do actions that they can't do. I go to school every, uh, every week from Monday to Friday, starting from eight to three. We have um, time to pray because they give us two breaks and they give us a spare room where we Muslims can pray. So usually I don't find it difficult, but during the time uh, it gets dark really quick, sometimes in the winter. So sometimes maybe I can't make it in school, which is not good. And uh, so after Subah, during the summer, it's really early. Praying makes me feel humble, makes me feel peaceful. It makes me feel one with God. It makes me really connect and speak out my words, my thoughts and my feelings to Him. It may be the same thing every day, but I feel like it's different each time I perform it because it's in a different time and it's a different need that I ask for every single day. Asalaamu Alaikum. To me, the month of Ramadan is the time where we remember Allah more, the time when we repent, the time when we, we put ourselves into the poor people's shoes, we feel the suffer that they've been feeling, but not to the extent to that they feel. We instead uh, remember them and we thank Allah for the blessings that He gave us. We thank Allah for the food we have, for the roof we have, for the clothes on, the, on our backs. We thank Allah for everything that He gave us and especially the fact that we're here today remembering Him. We pray and fast together. We have a uh, we have fatur uh, after we fast long long hours, and uh, after the month of Ramadan, people look forward to Eid, where people are together and celebrate. I usually spend Ramadan with my family. We sometimes go out when we're invited to other people's house for fatur. We usually fast during the day from sunrise to sunset and uh, after our long days of work we have the fatur and we relax and we enjoy our time and our blessings as we pray and spend time together. I look forward to Ramadan every single year because to me it feels like it's the time where I can look back at myself, look back at what I've done, see if I was good, if I was uh, a good person, if I was good to Allah, if I was good to my family, if I was good to myself. There aren't many difficulties other than the fact that it could be long hours. It changes every, every year due to the difference in calendars. But other than that, I don't feel any difficult. And it is not too hot or too cold. And usually the days go past really quickly due to the fact that I'm in school and in school I don't struggle a lot because I'm not really focusing whether I have food in my belly or not. My strengths during Ramadan 
is the fact that I can complete most of the days without any problems. And the, my weaknesses are that it could sometimes get long days. Just in fact, last year, I had my GCSE exams during the month of Ramadan. However, I managed to fast every single day. Ramadan brings me closer to God because it helps me to pray more, it helps me, it motivates me to do more ada'iya, it motivates me to spend more time with my family and it really helps me to think and realise how grateful I am for all the blessings that I have, how grateful I am for all the people that I have around me, to what God gave me and it helps me also think about other people who are less unfortunate, who are not as blessed as I am and it helps me to make sure that they can be happy the same way I am by me giving, giving to charity, by me helping, volunteering, putting myself out there to make sure that I have taken part in Islam. And it helps me to be a better person because it makes me more humble, it makes me more grateful, it makes me more, a better, overall it makes me a better person, it makes me realise to what I have and to what I need to do for other to order for others to have as well to do more of these activities because I know I get extra thawab and I also do it after month of Ramadan because these are not just activities for Ramadan it's activities for the, throughout the whole year and I try my best to keep it thoroughly and smoothly and keep up to date with everything that I need to know make sure that I do the du'a regularly make sure that I remember those who are in need make sure I remember the sick maybe I remember this uh, make sure I remember the poor and it helps me to also read the Quran and get used to the vocals, get better at my Arabic speaking. So as a British Muslim, I am very aware of Islam. I perform the acts such as going to the mosque, praying, fasting, and reading the Quran every week. There are many activities for me to do. I have this group chat on WhatsApp where we share events where we can attend and almost every week there is an event for me to attend and partake in Islam and I do many of them such as volunteering in the mosque. I am proud to be both British and a Muslim. I obey the laws of my beliefs and Islam and I respect both the law of the government and the religion. Some people may say, oh, you guys don't party, drink alcohol, but this is not for me to have fun because there are many other activities such as football where I can have fun. And, when, and I've also joined a football club. And when I joined them, I felt like I was welcomed and respected because they didn't interfere with what I believed in. And I didn't go to the extreme point or was put under pressure where I needed to, to party with them or celebrate with them. <laughs>